So this is obviously an egg, but I want to show you how this is something so much more in what it can reveal to us about God. I'm Scott Hilgendorf with Cowboys of the Cross, and this is The Short Go. So one of the things that's great about scripture for the rodeo and ranching crowd is how so many of the verses that illustrate things to us and so much of how their life was lived is agricultural based. So there's a lot of illustrations that we can still relate to and understand. This particular verse, maybe not so much, but I'm still going to show how God reveals himself to us in nature and why that's important. So we're going to look at Romans chapter one, just verse 20. For his invisible attributes, namely his eternal power and divine nature, have been clearly perceived ever since the creation of the world in the things that have been made, so that they are without excuse. And what that means is that so that in the things that were made, so they are without excuse, is that every person alive has the ability to believe in God. Whether somebody has shared Jesus with them, the plan of salvation, the gospel with them, whether anybody has ever communicated that, there's still an opportunity for us to at least believe in God. Even though we've never seen a Bible, opened a Bible in nature around us, when we understand the perfection of it, we can come to a belief at least in God and then start seeking what the truth would be about God. So one of the ways that we can see God in nature, and this is what I think is so cool about it, is everything around us reveals this kind of stuff to us. It's something that's called intelligent design. It's just an idea, a scientific idea, that it's not the randomness of evolution where everything came out of a bunch of goo. It's that there was something intelligent, someone intelligent that was able to create these things. When you look at an egg, it's made up of all kinds of tiny pores. When you see it, it's not perfectly smooth. But what there is, is a perfect number of pores. One too few of, of the pores in the egg and the, and the shell itself would be too soft. And when the hen sat on it, the egg wouldn't be able to support the weight. It would crack and, and the chick would die. If there was one pore too many, the egg would be too hard and the chick wouldn't be able to hatch its way out. It wouldn't be able to peck its way through the hardness of the shell. So the egg itself is made perfect. But another way, not just in, in the shell, but when you boil it and you crack it open, there is that flat spot on the bottom of the egg, even though the egg itself is, is round on all sides. The flat spot then is left behind because there was an air pocket in the egg. That air pocket is big enough just for enough air for that chick to be able to breathe as it's come to life, as it's, as it's living, for it to be able to hatch its way out. There's just enough air for it to hatch. So that's what we understand as intelligent design is just how perfectly an egg is, is, is created. And so everything else in nature, to use the agricultural examples that are around us, a cob of corn, each strand of silk that gets fertilized is, is linked to one of those kernels. And then the kernel grows and produces the, the, the nugget, the kernel of corn that's there on the cob. So when you have some sections that are dried up and haven't grown, that, that particular strand of, of silk didn't get fertilized. But that's just, a, again, one variety of plant that's so complicated in how it's constructed that it needs each of those strands to be able to be fertilized for a kernel of corn to grow. So God reveals himself through all of the nature around us, which means then we have an opportunity to seek out and understand who he is, which means then that we need to pursue a saving faith in Jesus. And that's where the rest of us as believers come in, is that we're tasked with the Great Commission, where we're supposed to be out there telling others about Jesus, helping them understand how they can be saved. And so part of what we're doing right now on cowboysofthecross.com is we're teaching you a series about discipleship, making disciples and being discipled. So we're out there then answering the Great Commission, which is to tell others about Jesus, and then we're commanded to make disciples, which means teaching them more about Jesus. It means we become followers of Christ. So as a disciple, people are teaching me, and I'm reading scripture and learning, and I'm pursuing Jesus. I'm trying to follow him. But at the same time, then I'm tasked with making disciples, teaching others about him to help them also follow him. So cowboysofthecross.com, once a month, we have this series running up there. There's all kinds of other content on the website. I would encourage you guys to start using it. There's over 150 articles on there. Devotions is what they really are, short teaching to help you understand more of what's in scripture so that once God has revealed himself to you in the world around, then you're not with excuse. You have no excuse to not believe in him. You also have no excuse to not learn more about him. And so we're here to help you learn what's in scripture and hope that you will take part in that by using the website. Every other Thursday, we put new information on there, new, new stories, new devotions. And once a month, we have this discipleship series, which will run us into somewhere into 2023. It'll take us a while to get through that teaching. It's there to help you guys. We encourage you to use it and to tap into us. Cowboysofthecross.com has our contact information. If you need anything, help understanding the gospel. If you 
believe in God through what you've seen in him revealing himself in nature and want to understand what that plan of salvation is, get in touch with us, a pastor of a church, whatever you need to do to find out, because you're not with excuse then for not believing in him, but you need to know to know the rest. You need to know the gospel and how to be saved. I'm Scott Hilgendorf, Cowboys of the Cross. We'll talk to you next time.